Before the recent chromium scare on the Huron River, there was another potential chemical threat to the waterway in the Ann Arbor area. It's a likely carcinogen called 1,4-dioxane. It started with a former manufacturing plant decades ago. You see it outlined in yellow. The chemical is moving in a four-mile-long groundwater plume seen in purple, a huge concern for residential wells seen in blue on the map. The 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig shows us tonight some people are eager to see the EPA take over and force the company into more aggressive and transparent remediation efforts before it reaches the Huron River. This company used 850,000 pounds of it for 20 years. Pure. That's a lot of dioxane. It was Gelman Sciences that released unregulated waste on their property for years. The chemical 1,4-dioxane, a likely human carcinogen. And there's a massive plume of it in Silo Township. It's already spread to the west side of Ann Arbor, and it's headed toward the Huron River. The one we have the most recent data for is in May, and it's within 1,000 feet of the river here. For years now, Roger Rail and other concerned citizens have been collecting data on the Gelman plume on their website, Sile Residents for Safe Water. Dioxane is one of those forever chemicals yeah. that uh, doesn't like to be broken down. We were told don't drink the water, don't bathe in the water, don't use the water for anything. Even if you water your lawn and your, your pets walk through it, you know, the water is contaminated. Just to have safe water, Marianne Martin and scores of other South Township residents had to be hooked up to water from the city of Ann Arbor. The plume is about four miles long and about a mile wide, and it's traveling about a foot a day. Everyone living inside the red border here is in what's called the prohibition zone. You can't put in an irrigation well and water your lawn with it. You can't put in a well for drinking. Um, thankfully, there are city services there, so they do have city of Ann Arbor municipal water to drink. The Washtenaw County Health Department and the Michigan Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy, or EGLE, continue to sample drinking water wells around the plume boundaries. We are monitoring and continue to monitor uh, to make sure that uh, levels don't increase uh, too harmful concentrations. Gelman is now owned by the Donaher Corporation and the facility in Seattle Township now only exists to treat contaminated water as directed by a court order. But it's going to take forever at the level that they're doing it. What 20 years of state mandated cleanup has done is basically zero and they've taken out more pollution than they said they put in in the first part. So we have no clue what's really in there. Ann Arbor City Councilman Jeff Hayner and Roger Rail are among those who strongly believe Gelman should be forced to do more as the plume heads to the Huron River. Eagle uh, doesn't have the wherewithal to fight a multi-billion dollar company in state court. An attorney for the company would only say Gelman is in compliance with all obligations under the applicable consent judgment and amendments. Gelman continues to work closely with Eagle to implement a remedy that is protective of human health and the environment. We're still finding, you know, 4,000 parts per billion of dioxane in new layers that um, maybe the company knew four years ago, but if they did, they didn't share it. Um, so that's a that's a problem. There is also concern that the plume will hit Barton Pond, which supplies the majority of Ann Arbor's drinking water. Our water is safe, but if only through constant vigilance. You know, is it done so? And the good work of the people at our water treatment plant. The mistake, of course, was letting it go so long because now I don't know how they're gonna. I really don't know how they're gonna control it. We're all about two thirds water. Mm -hmm. Act accordingly. In Ann Arbor, Kimberly Craig, Seven Action News.